Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. Kevin De Bruyne has been named Players Player of the Year and I am outraged. I'm disgusted. I thought I'd finish for the night watching England versus Romania. I'm absolutely disgusted. Manchester City midfielder Kevin De Bruyne has won the Professional Footballers Association Men's Player of the Year award for the second consecutive season. To be voted by your competitors, by players who you compete with every game to choose you, that says a lot. It does say a lot, Kevin. It says a hell of a lot. It says they're a bunch of prats. Whoever said that footballers have got brains in their feet, they're bloody right. They haven't got brains in their head. What are you voting for Kevin De Bruyne for? You know, literally, this just shows the can't be arsed attitude of some footballers. I bet they get the email to vote and they're like, I'd rather be playing FIFA. I'll just put Kevin De Bruyne. I can't be asked to think about that. Who have you put down? I, I, yeah, I'm just going to put De Bruyne. I, I can't be asked. I don't watch anything. I, I just play FIFA. I don't know. Uh, his team of the week player, he's got a really good score on FIFA. I mean, what have you been doing as a professional footballer this year to vote for Kevin De Bruyne? There is no doubt that I actually think Kevin De Bruyne is probably one of the best players in the Premier League. I'm not doubting his talent, but I have watched the Premier League this season. He is not what he's not player of the year. He quite simply is not player of the year. Despite I mean I, th I don't think I think he missed a good 25% of it anyway. And there is no doubt that Kevin De Bruyne is a good player, but he's not player of the year. He's an absolute shambles. This award has no credibility anymore. If players are just going to vote Kevin De Bruyne off reputation, what's the point in having a player of the year? You may as well say it. You may as well call him best player. In, you may as well call it best player in the league, best player in the league award. Like, and, and look, the best player is not always the player of the year. These footballers clearly don't have the brains to think it through because the players of the year, Mason Mount's had a better season. Than, um, than Kevin De Bruyne. And Phil Foden won Young Player of the Year. I mean, that's Mason Mount's been robbed there, surely. So, but look, for me, Kevin De Bruyne barely scrapes top five. The top five candidates for me of, of, for Player of the Year are Ruben Diaz, Gundogan, Bruno Fernandes, Harry Kane, probably Mo Salah. Kevin De Bruyne is, you know, you could fit him in the, but he's not, he's not, an, he's not an easy winner of it. I think it's a joke. I think it's an absolute joke. And it, look, people will be saying, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. But it is that deep because in future years, people will look back and go, look at De Bruyne who won it two years in a row. He's clearly the best player in those leagues. He's not. He's not the best player in this league. I'm sorry. He's just not the best player in this league this season. Ruben Diaz has had a way more impactful season, debut season, and Man City's title really has been built on its defence, of which he's been pivotal. Gundogan in January, let's, let's not forget, I think De Bruyne was injured around this time. Man City weren't top of the league going into January, Man United were. And it was Gundogan who really just went into elite mode. He's had a better season than De Bruyne. Bruno Fernandes as a United fan has had a better season than De Bruyne. In a, in a team that struggles to create anything, he's basically been the, the thing that's made it. Um, Salah in a poor Liverpool team has actually delivered and Harry Kane in a shit Spurs team has got more goals and more assists so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that I think it's laziness from footballers to vote De Bruyne and now you know people will be defensive of course they're going to say you don't know what you're talking about remember that cross remember this that I'm not, I'm not I am not in no way demeaning the talent Kevin De Bruyne he's a fantastic footballer but if we're going to have a player of the year award it's lazy it's bloody lazy to just go, I can't be asked to think about this. I'm just going to pick who is, who, you know, who, who is the best talent in the league. And, you know, if you're talking about the best talent in the league, let's have a chat about Kevin De Bruyne. But if we're talking about player of the year, I'm sorry, that's pitiful. You know what? There's a lot of things I won't look back on on this season with fondness. You know, I thought the way Man City took the league... A long way, uh, very early they were going to win that league because they had two teams and they deserved it. I thought it made a boring end. I thought the relegation end battle ended up being boring. I thought I thought the whole season looked quite promising up until Christmas. And then it just fell away into boredom. And also, no fans in the grounds, no real atmosphere. I think they did a great job to get the games on. And I'm very grateful for that, that we had football. But this season has been is becoming more and more forgettable by the minute. And the fact that Kevin De Bruyne is Players Player of the Year you know, it makes me lose faith in footballers. I mean, are they actually watching football? Because we watch a lot of football on this channel. You lot watch a lot of football. I watch a lot of football. And I know the takeaways from this season for me are Ruben Diaz, Harry Kane, uh, Gundogan, 
Kevin, uh, um, not Kevin De Bruyne. Um, I'm so mad he's coming in. He's, 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 I'm, I'm so, he's, he's even, made, he must, I think he's got a Jedi mind trick. That's what it is. Even when I don't want to list him, I'm listing him. I actually have sympathy for the footballers now. I'm trying to make a point about not putting Kevin De Bruyne in. And I nearly, nearly said his name. He's a genius. He's an evil genius. He's even making me say that. But no, the players that for me stand out this year and would be the clear players that I'll look back on. Mason Mount, Harry Kane, Ruben Diaz, Gundogan, uh, Bruno Fernandes, you know, those sort of players for me. Uh, and, and I do think Salah's done a good job in a shit Liverpool team. I will say that. But not De Bruyne. No. No. I think by his high standards, he does... This is why he shouldn't get the award as well. Because I don't think De Bruyne has been anywhere near his best this year. And yet we're giving him the award. If he has a good season next year, he'll win it. And then it'll be three in a row. And it's like domination of the player. I tell you what, just get your money on it. He's going to win it next year. Because if these footballers are voting him this year, he's only got to have half a good season like he has this year. And he'll get it next year. So, no, not for me. Not for me. I think it's poor. And also what I would say is, I thought when we did a video the other day about Ruben Diaz, I thought that was player of, player of the year. So I don't even know what this one is. Is. there's too many awards there's too many awards there's football writers there's this player's player of the year what was that award on the other day i thought that was players of player of the year what was that one then this so there's basically three awards come on sort yourself out you don't need we don't we don't have three premier leagues we don't have three champions leagues we don't have three fa cups why have we got three separate player of the year awards of which ruben diaz has won two and de bruyne wins one like nah. You know, obviously, Diaz has had a better season than De Bruyne. So, look, no matter what you want to say, even to the Man City fans who say cry more, I'm not crying because I'm telling you now that Diaz and Gundogan have had a better season than De Bruyne. It's a joke. It's a joke on every level, whether you support Man City or not. It's a joke. Poor, really poor, you know, really poor, really disappointed. I'd tell you what, I'd love to know. I'd love to know the votes. I'd love to know whether it was a landslide or whether it was close because I think... I think it's I think it's a bad reflection on footballers that that De Bruyne won it, but if he won it by a landslide, that's even worse. I think it you know in my my suspicion is these footballers and we don't you know I'm sure I'd love to know what players have voted for what because you never know. Most Man United fans might have voted for Diaz or Mason Mount. Uh, you know Jack Grealish might have voted for. Ruben Diaz. We don't know who these footballers are that have voted, voted for Kevin De Bruyne, but I tell you what, they don't take much notice of their profession, do they? You know, they really don't take their work home because I tell you what, they're not watching much football if they think that, in my opinion. Anyway, get your comments in below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe bottom right-hand corner. Is it a storm in a teacup or is it a farce? Does it even matter? Let me know in the comments. Speak to you all soon.